Warren spoke last week about the balance of your attacking play. From your perspective, the attacking coach and from the players as well. When you're perhaps going through a transitional period, you're looking to develop your game. Is that, is that a tricky time? Ah, it's a it's an exciting time. I think it's almost an exciting time when you try to change and evolve. It certainly, uh, depends on uh, you know the journey within the game. Depends on you know those situations you have to that you worked on that actually appear in that game, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, and against Scotland, uh, we didn't probably have the number of rucks as we thought we might have had uh, compared to the week before against Ireland. But uh, it's, it's an exciting time, and you're, you're asking uh, you know, players you know, still to be accurate and you know, the execution in the wide channels, uh, you know, which was a little bit better this week. And obviously, we're renowned to get better as the tournament goes on. And uh, I think uh, you know, this weekend now we need to get into uh, you know third and fourth gear, and that that that's the challenge for us as a coaching team and uh, players. We just feel at the moment that uh, just with the, with the win, it's an opportunity for for Alex. So we don't think he's far away from coming back into some form and some confidence. Um, so you know, it's an opportunity for him. Um, I, I think probably with, with Tom at the moment, we just feel that. Um, it's an opportunity for him to get back and play some, some more stuff for the Blues. There is a big step up from from regional rugby into international rugby, and um, probably, probably from from Tom's point of view, is that the injury he had um, sort of kept him out of the World Cup squad. He's been managed back at the Blues, so he he, he knows himself. He's down on sharpness and a bit of conditioning and, and things. So. Um, it's an opportunity for him to keep working and to hopefully get back to that. Yeah, like I said, I mentioned last week, you know, I don't really mind who I play with out of, um, out of the guys in the back row, but I'm obviously more familiar with, with playing at open side. And, um, you know, I will make a conscious effort this week to, to go a bit harder with the ball and compete because I think that's an area of the game which we need to improve on. That's what position ball down. And, um, you know, I've been thinking about that quite a bit. And if I was given the chance um, to play seven over the last few weeks, to really compete for that ball um, and try and slow the French ball down. So, um, you know, get myself in the game a bit more there from a contact point of view. But, um, yeah, I think we're lucky that we can have someone like Dan who can come in and Justin on the bench. Um, like we all know, very blessed in that area. But for me, yeah, it's quite, quite nice to be back in, in a familiar position. And there's a lot of comparisons of past teams and the team that we're playing at the moment. But um, I think with the group of players we've got at the moment, we came into the team and we won two Six Nations in 2012 and 2013. And in the last two we haven't won. And I think now we're starting to realise how, I don't we appreciate it back then, how hard it actually was to win the Six Nations campaign. So um, I think we've all been working particularly hard to try and get the title back in Wales because even though we've had a good couple of years going back three, four years ago, um, you know, we've realised now it is very difficult to win the Six Nations campaign. So we definitely want to get another title under our belt you know, while we're playing. Um, and you know, we've still got a great chance to do that this year.